Hey everybody, this is Brian Yearling with the Instructional Technology Coordinator Team in the School District of Waukesha. This video is just a brief introduction to the Technology Profile, which is a technology survey uh, that is being offered to professional staff across the School District of Waukesha. We've contracted with Apple Professional Services, who actually have owned and developed this survey um, to offer it to our teachers. So this is not a district-created survey. This is something that is used across the country um, with those who, who have contracted with Apple Professional Services. The main concept behind the technology profile is to provide for us a baseline of data today and an ongoing measurement moving forward yearly of uh, where we stand presently with our general uses, of technology, with our general comfort levels of technology, um, both as a district and at building sites um, to get the data that really is meaningful for us. And hopefully our, our goal is to use that data to develop meaningful uh, and appropriate just-in-time professional learning opportunities uh, that really focus on the needs of the individuals that we're working with as opposed to kind of the guesswork that can sometimes happen when you say, I think this is what they need or I think this is where they're at. So the, the uh, technology profile and the data that you give to us through that profile is going to be critical in helping us to, to better support your needs as we move forward. I'm just going to show you very quickly here uh, a quick sample of the technology profile and uh, the five sections that are covered. Section one is a focus on demographic data. This is going to give us grade level, subject area, and then the technology tools available at your local site. You'll notice there that when we get into when you get into the survey, you'll notice that there's a name field that is entirely optional. It is not required, um, and it also makes note of that there for you. So, just so you're aware of that, you do not need to to give your name in the survey, um, and that is not the expectation of of offering the technology profile. Uh, section 2 asks about personal technology use. Section 3 talks about your professional technology use as it relates to planning, communication, and then peer collaboration and support. Section 4 gets into how we use technology um, for our curricular objectives, so how we create content um, and also how we deliver it and our comfort levels with doing so. And then Section 5 moves into the uh, technology support found both at your building and also across the district. As I said, this is really intended to give us a baseline of data to begin to assess uh, how we're performing today specifically with um, the support that's being offered and then to give us some sense of how we've grown as we make changes based upon what the data is telling us. So um, again that is really at the core of what we're, we're interested in in offering the technology profile. I'll take you into the first page of it just to show you the name name is optional piece. Also um, as you can tell, um, this covers an awful lot of options, but we're very aware that this does not cover the specific uh, domains of every individual and professional staff member we have across the district. So what we would ask is that uh, you do your best to find a category that fits you or that most represents you. And um, if it doesn't entirely represent you, uh, as long as you can pick something that's kind of in the neighborhood, um, that will be just perfectly fine. The same is true of the subject area. Um, here you can see that it again does not cover all of the uh, positions that we have available to our professional staff across the district, but I want you to understand that if you can pick the one that most represents you, you'll be in really good shape and will provide us some data that is meaningful and, and uh, helps us to change and inform our practice. So uh, then across the rest of the profile you'll see mostly uh, Likert scale type questions um, that will give us some sense of where you fall within a range of responses. So um, we have taken this survey multiple times and uh, we're generally seeing that a survey takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete um, and that, it, that has been a pretty consistent uh, with the number of times we've taken it so far. So hopefully you can spare 15 to 20 minutes to give us some data that will be meaningful and will help to inform our practice as we try to provide professional development opportunities and support opportunities that are meaningful and relevant to help you really work with students and um, to transform some of your practices. So thank you very much for your time. If you have questions, feel free to Contact me via email, b yearlin, b y e a r l i n, at walkshaw.k12.wi.us. Thank you for your time.